okay so it's means land cream and in this video we will be discussing a uh, three phase in water which is available for frequency drive and this technique is implemented using Arduino UNO so let's just discuss this whole thing step by step so the controller that, that we are going to use over here is a Arduino UNO which is easily available in market so you can get it uh, from the market um, it has basically 13 digital pins and 5 to 6 analog pins so if you want to get the complete idea of this uh, design I prefer you should watch till the end so that uh, at the end I'll also drop a link for the files as well so you have to check where is the link okay so uh, this is basically three phase inverter so we are just converting a AC supply into DC and then converting that, that DC and uh, back into a three phase AC induction motor in my last video I also showed the same technique but uh, in, in that technique we have implemented the same thing but with the pick which is 18F452 I think uh, that was the last video which I have done uh, using this so in this video it will be uh, implemented using Arduino UNO the same stuffs are used are being used over here like the this is the LCD display okay so this is the LCD display and um, yeah, I think four wires are used for, for this LCD these are the four wires that are being used for the PWM and these are the so I have added four kinds of protections the first one is the uh, short circuited over voltages over current and ground fault so these are the main four protections that are most necessary I think in our case so these are the LED indications these LEDs will glow on and the VFD will stop in case of over current over voltages short circuit and ground fault so um, what this VFD do will do it will run forward it will run backward it will steep speed up speed down and it will also stop whenever you need to stop it okay so this is the scheme that uh, we are you basically using a five button scheme so to control it we need just five buttons and then we are basically converting a AC into DC if I run the simulation I'll be able to show you how many volts you will be able to get that it's a little bit complex technique so it will take time to show you the results so I think let's just focus that area okay so you will be able to get uh, almost 320 volts so you will getting and uh, 220 you are basically converting 220 volts or 50 hertz AC into a DC then this DC is being supplied over here and across those MOSFETs and then it will be back converted okay as you can see over here the motor is running let me just focus this one okay so it is running at are about, uh, around about 545 rpm so you can increase the rpm or decrease the rpm as according to your need so let's just focus this one first okay so what we are going to do over here is that um, we are basically uh, not only uh, checking the fault but also controlling the speed of the motor as well so um, this is the first part these are the buttons five buttons which will control the LED these are the fault indications in case of fault these LEDs will go and the motor will stop and LCD display So sorry for the the disruption. Okay, so so basically we are giving four PWMs. Uh, so the first, second, and third that will convert zero to one twenty, one twenty to two forty, and the last one will convert from two forty to three sixty. And the fourth one will be used as a PWMs, which will also control the duty cycle and also control the hertz as well. So um, at the mixer IC, mixer IC is basically AND gate which will multiply your PWMs uh, with the phase like uh, as we have three phase so we are basically generating three phase and we are uh, generating a PWMs of uh, about 20 kilohertz and that 20 kilohertz is multiplied with that um, three IC and three PWMs and after that we will getting uh, six pulses so these six pulses are basically 
giving to these six ices IR2110. You can use IR2112 or IR2110, IR2111 or TLP250. You can use IR2110 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 or TLP250. You can use